following segment is sponsored by Hewitt's Garden Center. Other than a few passing showers, it's continuing to be very dry in the area, so we're spending a lot of time watering our plants. But we want to make sure that we do it in a way that keeps the plants healthy. And here's what I mean. There's some plants, they don't care how you water them, but there's other plants like tomatoes, roses, and petunias, things like that, generally flowering and fruiting plants that really don't like to get sprayed with water. I'm not even going to do it, not even to show you. But here's how you want to water down here at the base so you keep the leaves dry. Now why don't I want to spray this tomato with water? Well, it's hot out here, these leaves are hot, they're drying out, they're evaporating moisture, and that causes the plant to drop more moisture from the soil below, and along with that comes the nutrients that the plant needs to survive. So when I spray it with cold water, I'm shocking these leaves. Remember, this plant's from Central America, loves the heat. The hotter it is, the better. When I shock it with cold water, it kind of shuts it down for a couple of days while it recovers from that shock. Also, wet leaves are the perfect environment for fungal diseases to start, so you want to keep it dry to keep them healthy. Spraying it with water would also wash the pollen out of these flowers. No pollen, no fruit. So watering the base of the plant is definitely the way to go. Get one of these watering wands like this. It's not so you can make it rain on it, but so you can direct the water down below. Same thing is true for our pet petunias here. Petunias notoriously turn to mush after a rainstorm. So I don't like that. So the way to water is put it at the base of it and soak that. And the nice thing about the watering wands, get one with a little valve like this, set it at a low trickle and you can water your shrubs that way. Set it under there for a half an hour or so and a good deep, so deep soak and that'll hold it for at least a week. So water wisely so you don't harm your plants. For Hewitt's Garden Centers, this is Peter Bowden.